Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker Review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Ross Chastain's Nashville win from 2023. As always, take a quick look at the box. As you see, you once again just have the generic race winner box. Got race winner, 75th anniversary, 2023 winner sticker, all that good stuff. Got to render the car right there. Track house, standard finish, NASCAR 75th anniversary. Made total of 888 of these things. That's a random number. NASCAR Cup Series, standard finish. Got your winner sticker. Got the same stuff on the back of the box. Action Racing Collectibles, be sure to register your car, NASCAR, and of course your copyright and such on the bottom of the box. Here is the car itself. That beautiful Worldwide Express paint scheme that was his primary last year. He still hasn't raced as of recording this video this year. They're still on his car, so I assume they're still going to run a few races, but I'm sure they probably scaled back a little just because Bush Beer probably took so many of the races, but... Hopefully we still see this paint scheme because this is really nice. So of course this comes with a few things. You have your 75th anniversary race winner sticker. And you of course have your race winning stat card. Got Ross with the guitar there. If you want to see this. This race was really random. like Because after the whole Darlington thing and after Rick Hendrick had a talk with Ross Chastain, suddenly Trackhouse as a whole just started running way worse for whatever reason. I mean, there's a lot of people who think they know a reason, but whatever. <laughs> but they started running way worse. And then suddenly at Nashville, Ross just comes out and has like one of the fastest cars racing with the leaders all day and wins the race. And then immediately goes back to not running very well. But it was really cool to see Ross finally get a win again. This was Ross's first cup win on like a normal oval too, because you know, in 2022, all he did was win a road course and then a super speedway. Where this year he won both Phoenix and then Nashville, so he's finally won a couple just regular ovals. Well, I mean, even Nashville and Phoenix aren't really regular ovals, but you know what I mean. But as you can see, right there, Lionel finally did do something on this car. And that is give us the edge with the chrome number. Because that is how this car ran all year. It didn't, it was like the plain white number with the, you know, blue chrome edge. But for some reason, they've been ignoring this. They did actually finally put it on the, uh, what was it, the Unishippers? Or the Global Trans, one of them. Whichever one I haven't reviewed yet, because I just realized I haven't reviewed that yet. But the white one, they finally did it on. The first two, they didn't do it on the diecast. So this is both like a double-edged sword here, because like on one hand, yay, they're finally doing it. I'm glad they found a way to do it. But then... If they could do it, why did they not do it on those first two? Because now you have two that are inaccurate compared to the rest of the set. The primary and then the... Was it the global trans, I think it was? Hard to keep track of them all, but... So this one has it. I assume the pink one and then the phoenix one will also have it. I don't know, but that's cool. Anyways, let's do a quick 360 of this car. This car is just a beautiful shade of bright blue. And let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have WWEX Racing... Got Worldwide Express, Global Trans, and Unishippers right there with WWEXRacing.com on the nose. Got number one and track house down there with the Chevy Camaro ZL1 front end. On the side, you have Worldwide Express, Shipping Logistics Supercharged. Got Jockey down there. Back here, you have Advent Health and Kubota. Nothing on the C-Post except for Siemens up here by the name rail. Got the winner sticker. Got Chevrolet, Moose, and Advent Health. Ross Chastain's name right there with the Melon Man. This have your 75th anniversary logos and all that. Nothing really special there. On the back, you have WDXRacing.com, Shipping Logistics Supercharged, Chevrolet Camaro ZL1, and Quaker State. I'm kind of disappointed that uh, Ross never ran a Quaker State car. They pretty much only exclusively run with Suarez so far. Have to see if uh, Gisbergen has any. I don't know. On the deck lid, you got Worldwide Express, Global Trans, and Unishippers again. Got Worldwide Express on the roof. This is number 841. And you got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Take a look under the hood. If it wants to open. Guess it's not opening. Okay, cool. <laughs> that hood is not even budging an inch. Anyways, it would open. And I'm sure there'd be a Chevy bow tender there. <laughs> roof flaps, of course, do open. And there's the inside of the car if you want to see that. But now let's get down to the damage that everyone's waiting for. This isn't really an overly damaged race win. You see, that is a bright blue car, so you do get a lot of the rubber buildup and dirt and stuff on the front end. 
Bright colored cars are always better for that. A little bit of dirt and grime on the grill piece. Interestingly enough, you see right here, the right front tire has like the flat end, like the chunk cut out of it. I'll have to go back and look if that was actually like that. I assume that's an accuracy thing, but how in the world did Ross flatten his right front tire only and not any other tires? That's just such a random tire to go flat first. I don't know if he did a burnout and was just like spinning on this tire, like this tire was just kind of not moving and spinning. I don't know, but... Somebody in the comments, please tell me if that is actually like that and this wasn't just like Lionel putting the uh, wrong tire flat or something. I don't know. I'll have to go back and check that later. You see down the side, just some more dirt and grime and such. Not a whole lot. It's covered in some bright pink and white confetti. It was the Ally 400, so I guess that's just meant to be the Ally colors with the purple and the white. So you got a few little marks and stuff down here on the bumper. Looks like it got pushed a couple times. And that's about a little more dirt and grime, a little bit of a mark right there. But said, you're not really getting this. This is not one of the cars to get if you just want like a super detailed, like destroyed raced version. This is more just the fact that it's really cool to get Ross Chastain another win. Said, Ross Chastain has be quickly become a fan favorite just because of the Hell Melon alone and his, you know, crazy driving style. I said it's attracted him Bush Beer as a sponsor. That standard Bush beer car looks amazing. He now has a fishing car that also looks beautiful. I'm so happy they brought back a fishing car. Said Kevin Harvick ran a fish car back in 2016 at Talladega. And then for some reason, they've just refused to ever run another fishing car with Harvick since then. There was a couple years, I'm pretty sure they got rid of the fishing cans, but then they brought them back. Like, they've been around, so I don't know why they just, up until right now, decided to run it again. Trackhouse had double fish cars, but... They apparently uh, can't offer Suarez's, like, jockey Luke Bryan car for whatever reason. Didn't they make a Luke Bryan, like, Miller Lite car back in the day? So they have worked with Luke Bryan before. I don't know. Would have made a cool set of double fish cars. Hopefully they work something out with that. And hopefully by the time this goes up, they, like, change their mind and they have the car up. But who knows? Anyways, back to this car. This is a brand new release. You can get it right now. I would not be surprised to think it's rare. As popular as Ross Chastain is now, I'm sure his wins are going to disappear pretty quickly. He has random cars from last year that are rare now, like his jockey got a little rare for some reason, but this year's jockey car looks terrible compared to last year's, like the primary one, not the Luke Bryan one looks cool, but like the primary one leaked or was like seen in the back of the shop and it's just way plainer than the flag car, but anyways, back to this car again. <laughs> Remember, for all of your diecast needs, you can go to circlebdiecast.com. And if you use the code BWAC, you can get $5 off shipping on any order over $30. So go check it out if you want anything. But I think, Trinch, all there is to say, this has been a review of Ross Chastain's Worldwide Express Nashville win from 2023. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.